Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about coronavirus crossover service in Nigeria, which is the 31st worst night. So it says, just in the ROCCG cancels crossover service nationwide. First time in the history of men that redeemed Christian Church of God have canceled crossover night in Nigeria nationwide, but they said it's going to be done online. So it says, the redeemed Christian Church of God, ROCCG, has canceled crossover service in its churches nationwide and has ordered members to connect with the virtual service of the church. So they have canceled it nationwide, meaning the gathering of people together, the celebration together that we'll be doing for time in memoria, meaning those things are not going to be observed in the redeemed Christian Church of God, ROCCG, nationwide in all their churches in Nigeria. So that is what they are saying. It says, in addition to this, not just this, the church stated further that January Holy Ghost service which is the first of the year 2021, taking place on Friday, January 8th, will be aired virtually. The Great Holy Ghost Service, which is the first Friday of the year, that will be taking place year in year out in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. But they are saying right now, in January 8th, is going to be done online as well. So those gathering, people are not to come together in churches to gather to celebrate the great Holy Ghost service. So according to the church, they said, members were advised to tune in to Dove TV and other electronic media to link up with the general overseer. So everyone, members of Redeemed Christian Church of God, they have to tune in to Dove TV and other electronic media so that they can watch their general overseer when doing the live broadcast, which is Pastor Enoch Adeboye's end of year message and other aspects of the crossover program. So everything that needs to be done, the celebration, the praises, the worship, everything that needs to be done in the church premises have to be done online. All their members nationwide in Nigeria are not going to observe the crossover night of 31st, 2020 in their church premises, but they have to do it online. So it says, according to the church, this development becomes necessary in order to comply with the federal and various state guidelines concerning COVID-19 prevention in the country. So COVID-19 2020 has really brought down many things. We are thinking maybe it's only Europe that are not going to cause the 31st World Night crossover. Not knowing that it's also going to affect Nigerian churches. So in other developments in Lagos, in other developments, so it says crossover service can which is Christian Association of Nigeria can direct legal churches to close by 11 p.m. The first one, Redeem Christian Church of God, they are saying nationwide that their churches are not going to observe 31st was night in their church premises, but they are going to do it only online. But now, only in Lagos State, in Lagos State, so the Christian Association of Nigeria can they are also saying that any churches, any other churches, they are to observe it but to close by 11 p.m. In Nigeria, crossover night have been that 12 midnight. 12 midnight is a time whereby people celebrate it. Whereby people shout Happy New Year. That particular period, that particular time is not going to be observed in Lagos State. So in Lagos State, they are saying that if any other churches want to observe the crossover night, 31st was night, they want to observe it in their church premises, they have to close by 11 p.m. That shouting of 12 midnight is not going to be there. So it says, the Lagos State chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria has directed all churches in the state to close their crossover service by 11 p.m. on December 31st, 2020. The reason is because, it says, the state also announced a 12 a.m. 
to 4 a.m. curfew as part of measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 in the state. So because of the curfew that is starting from 12 a.m. in the midlands, so that is the reason why they are saying that all churches that want to open, that want to observe the 31st wash night or 31st cross overnight, so they have to close by 11 p.m. to give room for people to quickly get to their various places before the curfew will start. So it says, reacting to the order, can in its statement say, as part of our responsibility as a law-abiding organization and in response to the appeal made to us by the state government, we hereby direct that all churches should ensure their services on 31st of December 2020 end at 11 p.m. so as to allow attendees get to their respective home and places of rest on or before 12 midnight when the curfew will start. So these are the reasons that Khan had given that made them say that churches in Lagos, in Lagos State, so this one is only concerning Lagos State. Other states in Nigeria probably they are going to start Happy New Year at 12 midnight. But in Lagos State, they are saying that all churches in Lagos State are to close by 11 p.m. So they are not going to cross all over to 12 midnight. Why ROCCG, Redeemed Christian Church of God, they have canceled their meetings in church. 31st was night crossover service, the celebration. The celebration they have cancelled it they are going to do it online meaning they are going to shout happy new year online so this is what 2020 coronavirus has really caused the church so this is what is happening right now lockdown from one place to the other and now the first watch night is being affected there is first crossover and the people always come together the celebration the jubilation. There are some people that don't even attend churches, but on 31st was night, they make sure that they are there. They believe there's something happening on 31st was night. Now, that celebration is being hindered because of restrictions here and there, because of coronavirus. 2021 is coming on. Now, is this 2020 also going to be translated to 2021? That is the question. And when they look at things, this 2020 coronavirus is as if it's creeping again into 2021. Even some countries, they haven't started making some restrictions ahead of 2021 already. Many is going to jump, extended into 2021. So this is the more reason the church got to come together for God to come and solve this problem. Now it's really affecting. It started since March. Nobody knew that it's going to be up to this date. That is affecting Christmas. Christmas is not being celebrated the way it ought to be. It's not being celebrated again the way it ought to be. Now December cross overnight. December 31st cross overnight. It's been affected again. COVID-19 2020. So it's a prayer that 2021, the year to come, that this pandemic this deadly disease, this thing that is going on, crippling things, crippling members, making members to backslide, these things will go away. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and also share it to others as well. And if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And make sure you click the notification bell. So, whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.